Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We just listed a new 35.5 acre ranch in Southern Colorado near Trinidad. It's this property right here. From the property, you're only about 28 miles northeast of Trinidad, and the drive into Trinidad is almost all highway along Highway 350 here. So it'll probably take you about 30 minutes to get to Trinidad from the property. And the property itself is only two miles from Highway 350. And power is near the property running along County Road 101.5. And then this is the location of the nearest utility pole, which is about a quarter mile from the property. Now this is an actual recent photo from the property. So you have unobstructed mountain views of the Spanish Peaks and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And you can see there's the power lines running near the property. Nearby landowners have built homes on their property. This is a property that is just about a mile away across County Road 101.5. You can see the uh, newer constructed Spanish style home there. This is an aerial view of that same property. You can see they have a lot of trees growing around their home. And this is another property that's about just two miles to the south. And this property is along County Road 64. And you can see that what they've done is they've almost created like a, a privacy fence with trees around the perimeter of their home. This appears to be newer construction. You can see they're utilizing both on-grid and off-grid technology. So they got a roof of solar panels here, but yet you can see there's utility poles on the property as well. And then some of the property owners are using their land for ranching. This ranch is just across Highway 350. This is a plat map from when this large tract of land was subdivided and it is called Santa Fe Trail Ranches. This is Santa Fe Trail Ranches Phase 1 Ranch 75 marked here in green. And this is that plat map in Google Earth and these blue lines are the lines of the parcels. And there is a 20 foot easement around the perimeter of each parcel for ingress, egress, and utilities. And then on the property, there were boundary markers identified, which are shown here. And here's a, another photo of one of those boundary markers. There's a fence running along the eastern boundary of the property. It's a nice level terrain with natural grasses. These photos were taken about a month and a half ago, so we hadn't yet hit the spring growing season. And the reason they call this the Santa Fe Trail Ranches is because the historic Santa Fe Trail runs right near the property. This is the official website for the Santa Fe Trail Association where you can find more information about the Santa Fe Trail. And the property is only about a quarter mile from that historic Santa Fe Trail route. This is a sign along County Road 64, which is just south of the property, indicating where the Santa Fe Trail crosses this county road. And then off in the distance, you can see the Spanish Peaks and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. These are Google Earth terrain views. And this is east of the property looking west. So we have the County Road 101.5, the Spanish Peaks. You can see you're about a quarter mile to power there. Now we're north of the property looking south. And this is south of the property looking north. And then this is west of the property looking east. So you have the County Road, Power, Highway 350. If you're watching this video and any of this looks familiar, it's because we did have another property that we just sold, which is this Ranch 74 right here. And that property sold very quickly. And this property is just to the south, which is closer to the county road and closer to power. Even though this gives a subdivision name of Santa Fe Trail Ranches, the subdivision component is simply referring to the subdividing of the land. So it's not a subdivision in the sense that there is an HOA, HOA fees, because this property, there is no HOA, there are no HOA fees, there are no covenants or restrictions, and the property taxes for the whole 35 acres are only $12.18 a year. And because this property would be ideal for a home, a farm, a ranch, cabin, a tiny house, a mobile home, a modular home, one of the questions we receive a lot is in regards to the accessibility of water. So the Colorado Department of Natural Resources has a division of water resources and they have a tool that is a well permit search tool and you can look up nearby wells based on different information so this is a location search you can put in the township range and section so this property here that is just a mile to the west along county road 101.5 and their well permit comes up showing that they hit a static water level of 341 feet and that they drilled the depth of the well to about 480 feet and it has a pump rate of 12 gallons a minute. And there's another well on a nearby property just to the southwest. And their static water level is listed as 345 feet with a depth of the well to 530 feet and a pump rate of 20 gallons a minute. In the property details on our website, we provided links to both the well permits, the Colorado Division of Water Resources website, and the Colorado Well Permit Search Tool. 
In addition to being conveniently located just about half an hour from Trinidad, you're also only about 20 miles from the Episcopal State Wildlife Area. The Episcopal State Wildlife Area is 8,000 acres. It's managed by the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Department. It's beautiful, picturesque terrain, and the Episcopal River runs through the Episcopal State Wildlife Area. It's an ideal place for hiking, recreation, hunting. In the Episcopal State Wildlife Area, there's hunting for bighorn sheep, deer, dove, pronghorn antelope, rabbit, and scaled quail. And we have a link to the Episcopal State Wildlife Area website in the property details as well. And you're also only about 34 miles from the Trinidad Lake State Park. And this is a photo of the Trinidad Lake and the Trinidad Lake State Park. And you're about 55 miles to La Junta, Colorado, a population of around 7,000 people. You're about an hour and a half from Pueblo, which is a population of around 110,000. Then you're about 150 miles from Colorado Springs and about three and a half hours from Denver. So with this property price at just $14.9 for the 35 and a half acres, which is just around $400 an acre, you're just off the county road, you're two miles from Highway 350, which takes you right into Trinidad. You got power about a quarter mile away. You have unobstructed mountain views and the historical significance of being next to the Santa Fe Trail. And the last property we offered sold very quickly. So if you'd like to secure this property while it's still available, go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart and then click this checkout button here. That will pull up this window where you can enter all your information. Once you complete this process, we'll receive an email notification that you've placed a deposit on the property will then take the property off the market that will secure the property for you now the $499 deposit is credited towards the purchase price and on the cash sale we cover all of the closing costs document preparation notary fees recording fees shipping fees and we own the property so there's no commissions or broker fees and if you have any questions our number is on the top of every page of our website that number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. You can also email us anytime. The email address is hello at landio.com, or you can go to our website and fill out this contact form. We work really hard to bring you amazing properties at incredible prices and provide you with comprehensive information on each one of these properties. We really appreciate you sharing this property and our website with all your friends, family, and colleagues. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Wishing you a blessed day.